Big warning as Bastrop County begins to rebuild. FEMA is calling homeowners their prime targets for scams that could cheat them out of thousands of dollars. KXAN's Josh Hinkle has a look at what folks need to watch out for. Basically the same idea as the motor miles. Up and down this stretch of Highway 71 in Bastrop, you'll see plenty of new but temporary businesses have popped up since the Labor Day weekend fires. David Sajovic and his dad secured a lot for their real estate firm, E County, to offer people looking to rebuild a one stop shop. You're going to come to one area. Hopefully, you have several different builders that will compete over you. Right now, six trailers here house six different construction companies. Companies Sajovic had to screen to make sure they're the real deal. We're looking for builders who have actually been in business for a good period of time, people who aren't going to be going anywhere. He's on the right track as FEMA warns people of the scams that could be coming this way. Here are some tips to avoid one happening to you. Get a written estimate, read the fine print, and ask for a written contract. Get a physical address and proof of insurance and verify that information. Pay by check or credit card, never cash, and never the full amount before the work is done. And beware of the phrase FEMA certified, because FEMA doesn't do that. Sajovic says, like the rebuilding process, traffic to his lot has been slow. These people have a lot of choices, and what we're trying to do is kind of help them weed through what choices and what's going to be the best game strategy for them. 30 people in about three weeks, but he knows with time it will pick up, and so will the number of people trying to take advantage of the fire's victims. In Bastrop, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. For more about the recovery process in Bastrop County, you can head over to an open house tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. out at the Smithville Recreation Center.